Okay, I bumped into some old friends. They're going to introduce themselves. Kerry Jones. Dave Jones. Sam Jones. Kathy Jones. Meet the Joneses. <laughs> Gareth Wynne Jones. <laughs> so what brings you to the Welsh Game Fair? It's local to us. Um, just thought I'd give the lads a day out. Um, I've paid. And they do lots of fishing, shooting. It's our hobbies, so why not? Fantastic. You, the tight ass, that didn't pay? <laughs> well, you know, she's a uh, job profile's grown, um, so yeah, why not? It's equal rights, isn't it? That's <laughs> oh, you got out of that one, didn't you, mate? <laughs> well, things you got to do, but no, lovely day out. Uh, we're passionate about shooting and fishing, and it's uh, part of the countryside, and it'll never uh, disappear. That's no, and, and important to have these events, isn't it? You know, to bring people on board, you know. We know what's going on because we're part of it, but other people don't, do they? Do? They don't at all. No, it's um, it's it's coming out and seeing it and doing it. And like I say, we shoot and fish, we eat what we get, and um, it's it's just great. It's 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 you understand where it comes from and how hard it is to get, and um, just making full use of the countryside and supporting people. Hundred percent. And the youngsters, what are they going to see today? What are you looking forward to? Um, clays, I want to do a bit of clays and I've just done a bit of fly fishing casting now, so yeah. Who, who's teaching the fly fishing over here? I don't know. Granddad. Granddad probably. <laughs> <laughs> Granddad's in charge, is he? Oh, I teach people, uh, the young people, what shooting's about and stuff, what game keeping's about and uh, keeps the game uh, going and stuff, doesn't it? So, uh, yeah. Yeah, you do a bit of shooting with me as well on our little shoot, don't you? And, um, yeah. He's a great shot, to be fair. I, I've just been sponsored by Browning, by the way. They're just sending me a new gun. So, um, uh, yeah, I want to I wanna thank Browning. I'll have to go on that one. I'll have to go have a go on that gun, won't I? Um, I'm not going to give him a go, just in case he's better than me, and then he gets the sponsorship. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you at the beginning of the season. I do. Yeah. I'm bumping into so many old friends here now. I'm going to let them introduce themselves. Zoe. Uh, Cheddar. Now, Cheddar, what brings you here? to this fantastic game fair? Well, to be honest, I used to be big into running dogs and terriers, but now I'm into gun dogs, so I've come really to see the gun dogs, yeah. Fantastic, and there's some great teams here, isn't there, from across the UK? Well, hopefully we'll see later on, yeah. Ooh, never <laughs> you never know. And for you? Gun dogs, so I work my spaniels. Um, we came last year and had a go at the scurries and stuff like that. Um, really enjoyed it, so again, for the gun dogs. And it's a great place, isn't it? You know, yeah. great arena. So many people are turning up now. It is really chock a block. Not too hot either, Jenna. A bit at the moment, but once I get a drink, I'll be a lot happier. Uh, <laughs> and one of the boys was saying to me that you're going to be spending some cash here today and enjoying yourself. I haven't got any cash with me, so I won't be spending nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Talking right. a little. Right. Okay. You're going to have the, going to have the big one now. Okay. Shoot. Just shoot underneath it. Just underneath, as it's at the top. Imagine it's got legs and yeah. shoot, shoot his feet. Okay, right, shoot his but feet. But only little legs. Only little legs. So it's tight on him. Yeah. Okay, Ready? this is getting confusing. Okay, pull! <laughs> That's easy! <laughs> what was that one? Hey. That's easy! There we are. Sponsored by Browning. Living the dream. That's, that's George Digweed over and out. <laughs> <laughs> Top boys, thank oh, you very man. much. I'm with the boys and it is absolutely boiling hot here and it is chocker. It's going so well. And we're on the second day of the video now. And well you can introduce yourselves, each one of you, and tell us what you're doing here. I'm John Harry from Bear the Gallet, and I'm helping Keith out, good friend of mine. Very good friend of mine as well. And this is the David Hasselhoff of the gun room, I'd say. As you can see, look at him in his shorts and he's looking dapper. Um, oh, he's sucking in a bit there as well. <laughs> I'm Rob, helping out, helping out Keith again, moving some guns for him. How's it been so far? Very good. He's bought more than he's sold, though, from the other dealers, but it's, uh, it's been good fun. That's Keith for you. Busy. I'm, busy. I'm busy. Very busy. Yeah. Very busy. I'm Spud. Neil, I'm Keith's mate. I'm just here to help him along and sell a few guns, hopefully. How's it gone so far? It's very good so far. Yeah? Yeah, we sold a few yesterday, didn't we, Keith? We did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's getting there. And, you know, it has been a bit of a hard time, hasn't it? You know, we're in a bit of a, a, a crisis with people spending. So, you know, putting an event like this on can be yeah, yeah. very risky. And it seems to me that it's paid off so many people here yesterday. And today looks very busy very as well. Busy. 
It was very fishy yesterday. Very good. good yes, yeah. it was. Yes, very good. And our restaurant up at the top there with my uh, squirrel. Squirrel burgers? No, no, no. Our squirrel bonbons. <laughs> but I, the spurred I call them my squirrel nuts. <laughs> which seem to sell better with the ladies than the gentlemen. But that's another story. But it's great to see that packed out again. You know, Welsh lamb, Welsh venison, squirrel burgers, great story. You know, we're working to build a fantastic event here for North Wales, aren't we? And this could get massive. This could get as big as Ragley because you've got the area here, haven't you, Keith? We have, we have. We've got everything. We've got a lake in the front. We've got the mountains. It's fantastic. And this is what all this hard work is about, is to bring people, tourism, into North Wales, Wales, get them spending, get them enjoying, and getting them coming back. What do you think, boys? Wonderful. That's it. Just come along quickly. Come along. (laughs) (laughs) We'll leave that one there, Keith. Yeah, we will. will. Especially with Spud. (laughs) With my old mate, come on, introduce yourself. David Pooler, chairman of the National Gamekeepers Organisation. Very interesting man. My name is Steve McGuigan. I'm regional representative of the, the NGO Educational Trust. Right, boys. How's it gone so far at the Welsh Game Fair? Hot. <laughs> Scorcho. Yes. <laughs> Scorcho. Yeah, yesterday it was being like being in, uh, I don't know, the Bahamas, somewhere like that. Oh, was Sweat it? was dripping off us. Lots of people. Very good day, though. Um, it's always nice to engage with the general public that don't understand what we do. Why do you come to these kinds of fairs or shows? Because he pays me. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, we come to these kinds of shows, the fairs, to meet the public, to speak to the public and dispel the myths and the, the misinformation about gamekeepers, about land managers, about farmers even, and what we do, yeah. why we do it and the effects of what we do. You know, a lot of the general public think we're all murderers, we're all bloodthirsty. Yeah. You couldn't get further from the truth. Yeah. The majority of the contents of this tent it's about conservation. Yeah. yeah. There's, a, there's, there's that much, that much yeah. about the actual shooting element. The rest of it is about habitat management, biodiversity, uh, moorland management, the introduction of the cur- reintroduction of okay. curlews. Yeah. Yes, predator control, predator management, but the benefits from that, the benefits from good quality, old fashioned, traditional land management. Control and balance, and making sure there's a future for some of these animals that are struggling within um, our countryside. Exactly, um, and as, as Steve quite rightly says, without the predator control, without the woodland management, the hedgerow management, and the grassland management that you guys do so yeah, well, yeah. Yeah. Um, nature would be in a lot worse position. Exactly. Well, one last question. I've got to ask you this. Um, You didn't get the opportunity to try my squirrel burgers, but you did get to try my squirrel balls. Now, what? What's your thoughts on my squirrel balls? Furry. Okay. Very very nice. (laughs) Very very nice. We'll leave that one there. They were absolutely gorgeous. They really were. Uh, Do you know? I generally I pick one up not not knowing what it was, but it was bloody lovely. It was. Well, this will just tell you, and I have to honestly say this: every time we are eating. A grey squirrel in a burger or in a ball on a ball bone or you know in a nut we are making room for the red squirrels aren't we so it's there's an important message you know a lot of people oh, yes. have been having a joke about it but there's a really important message here about protecting the red squirrel and their habitats um, for the future and conserving the songbirds because we all know that the, the grey squirrel will predate on songbird just as badly as anything else there you go. You learn something with these two every another, single day. Another aspect of it that we a lot of people have looked at yet is it, this grey squirrel is a byproduct of our control, but we're putting it back into the food chain. It's not going to waste. It's not dog food. No. It's going in here, and it's big enough. <laughs> Ten million squirrels in the UK. And I think there's a bit. Is it? There's a few. There's a few in there already. <laughs> the animal, boy. <laughs> Cheers, boys. Uh, okay. So yesterday, nobody refused our um, squirrel. Balls, bonbons, nuts. I call them bonbons because apparently I'm posh, according to you. Okay, so. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I'm from Merthyr, so I, I don't know what I call them. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't want you calling them anything, but you didn't have one of these bonbons, balls and nuts yesterday. You sold them to me in many ways, and one of them was Gareth's special squirrel balls, and I still refused, didn't I? She still refused, but you're going to have them... Now, come on, you're going to give it a go. For us... Give it a go, because I am a meat eater, and what's 
the difference realistically of eating a squirrel than I had a bacon sandwich for breakfast. I had a steak last night. So I do feel bad because I'm picking my favourite animals. But it is a difficult one, I'm not going to lie. Psychologically for me. What, because they're like furry small things? Yeah, I think so. And I associate them like being in the park when I was a kid and things like that and feeding them nuts. So I think it's... Let let me tell you something, okay? okay? Every time you're eating one of these grey squirrel bourbons, you know, balls, balls, nuts, (laughs) you are making room for a red squirrel. So by eating these, you're protecting the red squirrel, the squirrels that should be in the country. So you're doing a good job by eating these balls, bourbons, nuts today. So get one in your mouth, ASAP now, and tell us what you think. Okay. (laughs) All in one? Well, you can take a bite. Take a nibble, take a nibble. Mmm, that's beautiful. Like really that? good. A little Isn't bit chickeny. Yeah. Yeah. Is that right, chef? Yeah. So you got what you got in there? You got a squirrel and a bit of rabbit. Um, <laughs> just a just a little oh, bit of rabbit. You killed it now. <laughs> I've eaten some for now as well. What? But it's delicious, isn't I don't it? Now. Psychological apart. This that's delicious. <laughs> So, you shouldn't have mentioned the rabbit. I'm going straight to hell. <laughs> so what we've got in there, we've got some lamb jus in there as well, and some okay. lamb fat, and it just helps to bind it together, makes it nice and juicy. Well. Mm. Some spices, and you've got sriracha mayo. So you've got that little spiciness in the mayonnaise. Yeah. Um, oh, there's a bit of honey in there as well, so it's a bit of sweetness. It's gorgeous. But it's, it's a white meat, so it's very chickeny, you know, in, in places. Yeah, it is. Yeah, and that, will, that appeals to... Nearly everyone, and you, you know, take the take the spicy mayonnaise away from it, and that will do children. You know, children yeah. would love that, wouldn't they? Yeah. So one question regarding meatballs: yeah. What is that now, as the other meatballs you've had before this, from one to ten? Ten. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. Psychologically, I remove it, the image. But like I said, is I'm being. I'm contradicting myself by saying yeah. I want to eat a squirrel yeah, yeah. because I eat a pig and a cow and a chicken. That's true, yeah. So well, all I can say I, is I winner, winner, squirrel dinner. dinner. Squirrel balls dinner. <laughs> squirrel balls dinner. I like his style. <laughs> well done, Kai. Thank you very much. So, yeah, enjoy that. And, guys, if you want to try some as well, we've got lots of people here they want to try. And yeah. uh, we've got about 100, 100 to go today and then they'll be gone. And that's a good news story, Cheers. isn't it, really? Get your squirrel burgers in, lad, and get your squirrel nuts. Yeah, come on.